If you're working in an area that has relatively thin soil cover but not too much outcrop, then here's a little trick that can sometimes get you out of trouble. I'm Nick Tate and this is Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks and once you're signed up, you'll get all the videos that are already there, plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. Look for a fallen tree like this. Sometimes when they fall over, the roots pull up the subcrop that's underneath the soil and then after a few showers of rain that subcrop is washed nice and clean and gives you a free outcrop, just like this one here. Now this is chlorite schist. That's a pretty soft rock type and it doesn't outcrop well at all. But when this tree's fallen over, the pieces of rock between the roots have been plucked up and then the rain's washed it clean. So I've got a nice clean, free outcrop and I can get an idea of what was underneath the soil. Now this place is pretty fortunate because a big storm went through here about 10 years ago and knocked over a lot of trees. So there's a nice random array of these outcrops scattered all over the place. And that's allowed me to make a really good map in a place that would otherwise have been quite difficult. It doesn't happen all the time, but heck, when mother nature gives you a freebie, make good use of it.